Hey there, Geeks. Tim with VagerGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to use Compact OS in Windows 10 or 11 to free up hard drive space. What this does is, oh great, what this does is it compresses only the Windows core files. That's it. So it's not going to touch any of your installed programs and any of the other folders, your pictures, your movies, your videos. This is great if you have maybe a laptop, you don't want to change your drive, and you're out of ways to come up with hard drive space. This could give you up to 20% more hard drive space. I'm in a virtual machine, so my drive is small, but let's take a look at what we're using to refer to it when we're done. As you can see, I have 26.4 free or used and 32.9 free. We'll come back to that when we're done. So the first thing you want to do is know if it's enabled or not. So we're going to use this code right here. If you can't see it, check the I up here to follow through or expand the video description below to get a link to this page. And then you can copy and paste it, which might be easier. So we're going to copy this. We're going to use Windows Terminal. That's your Windows key plus X. And run it as admin, as you can see right here. And Control V. What this is going to tell you is if you're already using it or not. You never know. You may have bought a computer from somebody who already did it for you. As you can see, the system is not in the compact state. So we're good. Let's scroll on down. Let's enable it. I'm going to copy this code right here. Control V. And once again, press Enter. Now on average, unless you have a really slow computer, it should take about a minute. Now when we disable it, it might take a little bit longer. So we're going to let this sit here until it's done. You can see that the wheel is turning. And you'll end up back at a prompt like what you see right here when it's done. And I believe... Oh, i got to update my screenshots. That's the wrong screenshot. It's great. So it'll look like this when you're when it's done. You'll see that. So again, you can see it's going, taking a little bit longer. And again, as mentioned, when we disable it, we'll get ready for that while we're waiting. It will take a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and be prepared for that. If you're looking to disable Compact OS, we're going to highlight that code just like we did to enable it. There's no difference. So we're looking at, does it work? Or is it on? Do, turn it on. Turn it off. Or enable or disable. And it's taking a little longer than usual. A lot of times my virtual machine will run a little bit slower, so maybe I'll hit pause while we wait. And we're back, and we survived, as you can see. Just like the screenshots, you're just going to see that line right there with the spinning wheel. And when it's done, you will see this right here. And I've updated the screenshots in the background so they actually are correct, as you can see. Let's see what we got. C, right click, properties. We had 26.4 free, 32.9 free space, use space, 26.4. So probably not as much as I would have liked, but again, bear in mind that it's a 60 gig, basically a partition. So your drive is probably quite larger than 60 gigabytes. So hopefully you can free up more space than I did. Okay. So now we changed our mind. We want to go back. It isn't hard at all, as I mentioned to you before. It's step one, on, off. So let's highlight this right here. Right click, copy, put that in, control V, enter. And as you can see, same thing, spinning wheel, one line, which you will see right here. We started with this. You'll see this. And when it's done, very much like what you saw up here, there's more lines to it here, you will see that the files were uncompressed. And when you see that line and you're back to this, you know you're okay. And then you can just close this here. So rather than wait, again, keep in mind, one minute, maybe five minutes, depends on your computer, shouldn't be too bad. I'm not going to wait till this finishes up because you can see it right here. That's exactly what you're going to see. And there you have it. So before I let you go, let's keep in mind, this might not be for everybody. There's really no harm in doing it. But you, if you haven't done it yet, check these stories as well. Privisor will really clean stuff off of your drive. You may have folders wasting space for future Windows updates. For example, Windows Old, Windows Squiggly BT. What is that thing called? Um, 
sys reset folders. You can check those. There's a couple ways to get rid of a pretty decent amount of space. But if you haven't used a drive cleaner in a while, we recommend uh, Provisor, which if you click on that story here or click in Provisor Major Geeks, you can get the link right here. And as you can see, you know, 350,000 downloads, four stars, which means a whole bunch of people are quite simply wrong. I don't like to do that too often, but facts are facts. It is not a four-star program in any way, shape, or form. It is a five-plus star. And there's a video tutorial. We compare um, CCleaner versus Wise Disc Cleaner. We also have the video tutorial to compare Privisor as well. I'll put a link to Privisor right into the video description as well if you want to check it out. But it's pretty awesome. It's on my machine, period. And there you have it. There's how you can enable and disable compact OS what it does and again just keep in mind it is a common question that people are thinking it's going to compress everything on their drive it is not it's only going to compress your Windows core files and there you have it how to enable or disable compact OS in Windows 10 or 11 bottom right hand corner click subscribe click a like you can't click dislike anymore apparently and uh, thanks for watching as always see ya